So <coughs> today we did some more going from side control to back control and and uh, retaining back control. So first thing we did is sort of the proper side control. So let's uh, let's say your your left side is facing the head. So your left hand has like the thumb and the collar. You can flare your elbow to get a little cross face. Um, your right hand can either be all the way across and you're gripping the bicep, tricep area. Um, or if it's turning into you, you can bring your arm, your forearm across the hip and gooseneck the forearm against, across the, the hip line and gooseneck the far hip <coughs> and drive them back. When you drive them back, also you can do like a knee on belly. Um, so the transition we start practice is he turns into you, you push him back and go into the knee on belly, he pushes his knee on belly off, uh, you go back to the side control, then he turns away. So when he turns away and sort of tripods into like, in transitioning to turtle, or yeah, into turtle, then you get the lower hook in. So you want to get keep your right arm across his hips. So as he's trying to find a way, your, your right arm should be uh, along the hip line anyway already. So you keep it there. You don't like pull him down with it, but you maintain contact with the hip line. Your left leg slides under to get the first hook. Um, and then your left arm becomes a choking arm, so it comes around the neck. And then your right arm becomes the bottom part of the seatbelt. Um, so then you bottom part of the seatbelt, and then okay, so then your left leg through, then you can get the top hook in. If you can't get the top hook in, you do. Um, what uh, Jason or Fabio covered last week, which is you bring, so you have your left leg in as a hook, so then the right leg comes over their left leg and then you can extend and wrap them. So you pull back with your legs and you pull back with your arms, um, extending them out and giving you space to put the right hook in. So then you put the right hook in, and now you're back control. So now, um, well, I'll get back to this other point in a bit, but his head is below your head and closer to the ground, so he can try to get his shoulders to the ground. So that's probably what he'll try to do to escape. Uh, so he'll get his head to the ground, then I'll get his left shoulders there and then it gives right shoulder to the ground and then what you would do is go to mount from there but that can be a little bit of a scramble so it's better to try to retain back control so when he gets his head to the ground or even earlier as soon as you think he's gonna escape or try to escape you want to get um, a chin strap with your left hand and then you grip the bicep from underneath, like an underhook bicep grip with the right hand. Then you bring your left knee up to like a pillow. So it's sort of like a S mount. You want to get into S mount kind of. So you bring your left knee up to the neck or head like a pillow. Um, he's still probably going to try to turn away from you. If he, turn, if he starts trying to turn back into you, like so if his shoulders get back flat to the ground then just go back to side control but if he keeps on trying to <coughs> turtle or or walk away from you then you hook so your right so your left leg pillows his head and your right leg your right foot hooks his hamstring or or the top of his knee from behind so the toes are hooking not that you have the toes are hooking there. Um, and if he keeps going, you follow. Um, and you can get like a, 
um, a gift wrap or a camera grip on, with your hands. Um, then you keep following with the right and then you step over with the right foot. Then you can sort of step up with your left foot so you're, you're squatting across him. And then you roll to your right side. Um, you don't want to sit, your butt shouldn't touch the ground as you squat and pull it back. Um, so Tim says the ideal, ideally when you have back control, you want to have, uh, you want your head to be in between your opponent's head and the mat because it's harder for them to bring their head to the mat and then harder for them to get their shoulders to the mat. Um, so just defensively, it's a better idea to get your head in between. Uh, so that was the other detail, detail I said I was going to talk about. Um, yeah, so that's basically it.